on Octopunk Weekly Update, we are going to be talking about Detroit reawakening uh, and how you can contribute to the movie and get the movie made. So the crowdfunding campaign is launching at the end of the week. There's lots of perks. There's all sorts of stuff uh, associated with the campaign. There's lots of stuff to unpack. And so I will pretty much dive right in. <laughs> Hooray for good mic noises. I don't know why my mic was so quiet. That's, that's so weird. OBS is weird sometimes. Sometimes they just decide to like change things and you open it. It's like, well, I didn't choose that. I did not vote for him. At least there's not going to be ads in the music this time because I'm doing the music in OBS. I actually, like, this is my own music, so it's not pulled from YouTube. So no ads in the middle of Apu. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, before I get into Detroit Reawakening, I do want to talk about Patreon this week, just as a little bit of an update. Um, so patrons in the $5 tier can expect a, a misspelled, uh, you can see in my haste, Fallout Sanctuary set building stream at 12 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. I had my first live stream for the $5 tier on Saturday. We did a first look at What a Beautiful Wedding. You can catch that VOD if you haven't already. And this Wednesday, we're going to be doing our second of the two monthly streams uh, doing some set building in Fallout Sanctuary so you can see how I'm building some of the custom sets for this animated series. So that's pretty interesting. I'll, I'll probably be doing something in Diamond City if you're familiar with that area in Fallout 4. So Thursday, we're also going to be doing some more Detroit Evolution set pictures. Uh, I'm a little behind on the digital wallpapers. Uh, I was going to go ahead and post those last week, but Fame Fatel got me all messed up. So I think digital wallpapers are probably going to come next week. Uh, and then the $25 group call is going to be next week. $50 patrons, I still need to catch up with some of you for your April calls. Uh, I'll be in touch. I'll probably try to schedule them for this Friday or this Wednesday, depending. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get in touch and we'll talk about that. Uh, but yeah, for the rest of the stream, we're going to be talking about Detroit reawakening. So like I said, Detroit reawakening is going to have uh, a crowdfunding campaign starting this Saturday, May 22nd. Uh, the crowdfunding campaign is going to be on Indiegogo.com. I've chosen to go with Indiegogo instead of going with Kickstarter because uh, Indiegogo is much more friendly to international donations. Uh, I think they have PayPal, they have maybe even like currency conversion things. Um, they're just easier to use for international audiences than Kickstarter is, so that's why I chose Indiegogo. Um, a lot of people know that Indiegogo is more commonly known as like the one where you get to keep any money that you make and it like Kickstarter is very much all or nothing. You meet your goal and you get all the money or if you don't meet your goal, you get nothing and they have no other options for that. Indiegogo was invented to be like, well, you know, if you raise 9,000 out of your $10,000, you should still get your $9,000. Um, but Indiegogo has both options. They have all or nothing and they have, you know, keep what you make. I have chosen to do an all or nothing campaign. So the campaign is going to work the same way that you would think a Kickstarter would work. If we meet, if we do not meet our goal, we do not get any money. Uh, the reason for this is that, um, I, <laughs> I just saw that they it Lady Voss. I thought Kickstarter was for for profit only projects anyway. I am not sure. I know that Indiegogo encourages you to use GoFundMe if you're doing not-for-profit things. Uh, fan prof projects can do either. I've seen Kickstarters for fan films. I've seen Indiegogos for fan films. So I don't know if that's... N and also, fan projects get in like a gray area as what is profit anyway. So, But I have seen like fan films do plenty fine like on Indiegogo and not get shut down. So I don't think that's going to be an issue anyway. Um, <laughs> and yes, I love you too, Austin. Austin's sending me a highlighted message in the chat. <laughs> um, but anyway, so with, with Indiegogo, um, I've chosen to do an all or nothing campaign. The reason for this is I have a minimum that I need to make the movie and I don't want to be in a situation where I only raise a few thousand dollars and I don't meet the goal and then I'm obligated to fulfill all of the perks, but then I can't afford to. So our minimum goal, I'll go ahead and bring this up. So here we have uh, Detroit Reawakening, our lovely title card. Uh, hold on, why, do, why, is this, why is this little red dot here? Go, go away. I wonder if you can see that or just me. Um, our overall goal is $10,000 to make the film. It's a pretty modest goal. Um, and I'm going to turn down this music again. I think it's probably too loud. 
I, it's a, we've changed the song. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I do like the title card. I like the green. But yeah, $10,000 to make the film. Uh, no, Michael Smallwood, you did not miss any awesome stuff. We're just getting into the awesome stuff now. Uh, <laughs> Beggy says, thank you for sharing this budget chart. Yeah, it's kind of a cliche at this point to put these on Indiegogos. Uh, but it is actually a good way to show you where the labor and, and, and where all the money and everything goes. Uh, and to justify the cost of the $10,000. Because obviously, you know, we made Detroit Awakening, the original film, for 1500 So, like, why do we need 10 times as much money? Well... At our current production value standards and wage standards as well that we work by, uh, we want to be able to pay people a living wage, especially coming out of the pandemic. Um, so I actually like my my minimum wage um, for what I pay people on crew and cast has risen continuously over the years. Uh, and as with all Octopunk projects, the majority of my budgets go to labor because I like to make sure that people can, you know, get paid for their work, get paid for their gear, everything else. Um, and pretty much what it works out to is at least like 18 to $20 an hour or something like that for most people, plus gear. Um, I, I won't break down everybody's individual rates or whatever, but you can see here that about 65% of that $10,000 does go to labor. Uh, $475 of it, at least, will go to Indiegogo and PayPal fees. I've built that into the budget. Uh, we will lose about 8% of this budget to platform fees. That's just how it is. It's kind of unavoidable. Um, and most of our perks, as you'll see, are actually digital with the exception of one thing. So our perks themselves are not going to cost that much money. So I have not written them into the budget. I can just eat the cost, the minor cost of what they're going to cost to create. Um, shipping costs are not included in this. If you do get a physical item, you will have to pay shipping. Uh, more information on that will be in the actual campaign when it goes up on Saturday. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't do a budget of 69, 69, 69 again. <laughs> no, it'll just have to be 69,000, you know, 69, 69, 69. I'm okay with that. We might get to that. I don't know if somebody really wants it that bad. Uh, I, I, am, I almost have a contingency plan for that much money, as you'll see in the stretch goals. Um, also in this budget is travel. Um, I'm bringing somebody from New York, so that's like $250. I'm putting people up in hotels. Uh, I'm paying for people's gas, just travel fees for all of our crew from various places. Catering to make sure that they're well fed. Uh, insurance to make sure that they're safe and that uh, the locations that we use in are safe. And a little bit of budget for props and costumes and et cetera, although we will be reusing a lot of them for, from the original Detroit uh, awakening and there's not anything too complicated from a set design standpoint and what we plan to do with the film but if we do raise more money a lot more of it will probably go to things like costumes and props and and that sort of thing to, to make the movie look even better um, so this is a pretty straightforward budget I mean fame fatale and uh, what a beautiful wedding both cost about ten thousand dollars so in terms of you know how much we we spend on short films that's about in line with what we've done the last couple of similar length uh however we want to be a little bit more ambitious than this ten thousand dollars is the minimum and we'll ensure we can make the film uh for reference we have made over ten thousand dollars on charity streams before in eight hours in the past so I'm pretty confident we'll be able to hit this possibly even on day one. Uh, that's the goal anyway, and we'll, we'll see what happens. And, and uh, I'm going to incentivize you to, to do beyond that, as you'll see in a second. So we have stretch goals. We have a lot of stretch goals. What happens if we raise more than that $10,000? The first one is if we raise $12,500, we will bring back Tina Chen, played by Carla Kim, in the movie. Uh, this is almost a mandatory thing for me. Carla is so excited to come back. Uh, we all miss her. We want to take her to Denny's again as a group. Um, <laughs> so the goal is really 12,500 as Jamie says. Yeah, it really is. Why is this a stretch goal though? And why is it more expensive to bring back Carla? Well, there actually is a justification for this. Carla in the pandemic moved back to South Korea, which currently is about a thousand dollar plane ticket. So it literally does cost more to bring her back uh, for the shoot than it would uh, some of our other crew members. So this basically covers her plane ticket. It covers her day rate. It covers, um, 
you know, her hotel costs. It covers basically the expense of bringing her on board. So, uh, yeah, she did move back. So it's, it's, it's just a little bit of an extra expense, and I, I don't want the entire production to live or die off that one plane ticket. So it is a stretch goal, but I really, really hope you can help us get there because she's absolutely worth it. Uh, we got this, as, as Green Dragon says. Yeah, uh, I, 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 she's so excited. She was so excited when I told her that we were doing this movie. She's just absolutely ecstatic. So. Um, <laughs> and even Smallwood in the chat is saying, please bring Carla back. We miss her so much. We really do. The first thing she asked me was, if I come back, can we all go to Denny's together? And I was like, yes, we, we could go to Denny's together. <laughs> uh, and, and Marvel Merle is asking, Tina gets a promotion. So, uh, the reason Tina is involved in the actual, uh, story is if you've read Irrevocably Linked, there is a way that we put her in the story of Detroit Awakening. So it's actually, she's actually in the flashback scenes, although we might also include her in the present day stuff as well, um, which might give us an excuse but to bring back Valerie too. I don't know, we'll see what our schedule is like, but $12,500 bring back Tina Chen. So our $15,000 stretch goal. This is something we wanted to do on the set of Detroit Evolution, but we didn't get to because we didn't have time. But we will make time for it uh, if we reach $15,000. Uh, we will do another heels photo shoot. I was really, I know JJ was really disappointed that we did get to do this uh, back with DE. He brought his heels to set and everything. That's why he had them in lots of his box is because we, we, he brought the heels to set. I brought my heels to set. We were going to do a whole cast and crew photo shoot and just, we were so out of time. Um, so we will do another heels photo shoot, uh, with the new cast and crew, for JJ, <laughs> and JJ is definitely going to be um, definitely going to be on set uh, for the hopefully the whole time. So and yes, follow follow JJ on social media at Instagram.com slash Quasar Cost. So this will be a fifteen thousand dollar stretch goal. <laughs> Safa says, guess the goal is fifteen thousand now. Oh, honey, you, I haven't even gotten started yet. <laughs> Uh, Absolute Illusion asks, are we going to get Chris in heels? I don't know. Uh, for the straights, we give them the option of heels or Crocs. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it would depend on what he would want to do and what fits his feet. <laughs> All right, so this is where we start having some fun. So the stretch goal for $20,000, all donors and pledges over $50 throughout the campaign will get a Blu-ray added to their pledge. So why is this more expensive and not included in the normal perks? Blu-rays take a lot of time, and but they also take a lot of manufacturing cost. It cost me about $1,200 out of pocket to manufacture the Blu-rays for Detroit Evolution, and that was 175 of them. So it could cost upwards of three or $4,000 to manufacture these. Um, luckily, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. They, they have a bulk discount. So uh, hopefully this is enough of an incentive to donate and maybe get a Blu-ray. Of course, Blu-rays would come with your standard, you know, commentary track and special features and all that sort of stuff. A few people have asked me, will Blu-rays come with Detroit Evolution as well on them? I would say probably not, just because I probably can't fit both films on one Blu-ray disc. Um, and also we already, you know, we already did Detroit Evolution. We had multiple opportunities for people to get it. If you missed out on it, that's unfortunate, but we did give you like three chances. <laughs> so uh, this is a lower uh, lower cost threshold than the Detroit Evolution Blu-rays were. Uh, $50 is the cheapest we've ever done a Blu-ray. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get there and everybody who donates over $50 will be able to get one. Um, like I said, physical perks like this, you will have to pay shipping. I think that you'll pay it when you check out uh, on Indiegogo. So I won't be hitting you up for it later. It'll basically just be, I'll estimate shipping uh, with the cost uh, immediately when you pledge and it'll just cover any sort of future expenses. Um, <laughs> Michael Smallman says, anyone who donates to this campaign with money earned from crime will get a special video message <laughs> calling you a badass. <laughs> Um, you know, he can throw that in, whatever. That's, that's totally fine. 
Be gay, do crimes, support Detroit Reawakening. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Um, so... <laughs> So, yeah, $50. Uh, if we make our $20,000 stretch goal, if we don't make $20,000, we don't get Blu-rays. But hopefully, I think, we'll be able to reach that $20,000 threshold. So now, what, what, what could we possibly be doing after that? We're giving you Blu-rays. We're bringing back all our friends. We're doing all sorts of fun stuff. What are we going to do if we raise more than $20,000? Um, I was torn on this because the sort of conventional wisdom is that, well, you make more films um, with that leftover money. You make extra short films, or you make a series, or something like that. Well, the problem with that is that I'm, I'm kind of done in terms of the stories that I want to tell with these characters. Also, I just literally cannot handle any more projects at this point. Um, Detroit Reawakening itself was an additional project to add to my schedule to try and fit in with everything else I'm doing with Fallout Sanctuary, with Live Screamers, with Fame Fatale and What a Beautiful Wedding, um, with the Seven Deadly Sense RPG, everything I'm working on. Uh, so adding more film work to my lineup would probably not even come out till the end of next year or 2023. And that just just seemed like a law of diminishing returns, I think. Uh, yeah, and Michael Smallwood says, as Michelle's friend, she's not even allowed to consider another project. Exactly. Um, so I, I wasn't really sold on the idea of like adding on additional like filmed things uh, as stretch goals. But there is something else that y'all have been asking Octopunk to do for a really long time now that I decided to do instead. And that is meeting all of y'all in person. So our stretch goal for $30,000, we're gonna resuscitate that premiere event in New York City. We'll do a live in theater premiere of Detroit Reawakening before it comes out on YouTube for folks in New York City, just like we were going to do with Detroit Evolution, but it got canceled because of COVID. Um, the reason that this is actually a stretch goal um, is that I actually intend to comp some of the plane tickets and expenses of cast and crew members, uh, and, and that will allow me to be able to bring more of them to you in New York City. Because a lot of them, uh, you know, are working actors and stuff. They don't have disposable income to be able to fly to New York or stay in a hotel in New York and that sort of thing. So this will make sure that that's not a problem. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, hold on chat. Don't get, don't get too sad yet. I'm not done. <laughs> and this is pretty far in the future. Uh, there is time to get your vaccines as pillow says, this is going to be like probably in like March of next year. It's, it's going to be in the spring. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm not done. D don't, don't get ahead of yourself. D stop putting the cart before the horse. <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, I really hope that we can be able to do this. Um, truth be told, even if we don't make this stretch goal, I will probably still do this. Um, but it might not be as big of an event um, because it would be dependent upon cast members being able to afford to go to New York. Uh, so that would kind of limit who could actually attend the event um, on our end. And it might also limit some of the activities, the length of the event, that sort of thing. Um, whereas with $30,000, with that, that $10,000 difference to work with for the budget, I could make sure to pay off our venues. I could make sure to bring all sorts of cool people to New York without any cost prohibit prohibitiveness. Uh, as well as if we make Make this stretch goal I think that the event for general admission would also be free so you know I wouldn't have to charge admission because our venue prices would be covered um, additionally if we meet this stretch goal everybody who donates a hundred dollars automatically gets entitled to a ticket so it's included with your pledge if you donate over a hundred dollars so you won't have to uh, fight over a seat uh, we'll make sure that you have a reserved seat at the event. So yeah, that is our $30,000 stretch goal. Now I said I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I said I wasn't done yet. So there's one more stretch goal. Uh, and this one, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get there because it's a lot. Um, but it is something that clearly 
according to the chat today, <laughs> is something that's very in demand. Uh, yeah, uh, Greg says Michelle going full Billy Mace today. But wait, there's more. Um, so, so there's one more stretch goal. And uh, again, this is something that clearly is in demand, something that y'all have wanted for a really long time, something that I think we would really want to do as well. And that's if we hit $50,000, we're going to fucking Europe. Um, I'm not sure quite yet which... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure quite yet which cities. Um, I don't want to like promise anything, but I'll say that right now, what I am thinking is uh, UK and Germany, like two two places in Europe. Because if we're gonna go, we'll probably do it in more than one place. Um, I'm thinking maybe London and like like Munich or Berlin, um, again, not sure, um, but those two places seem to be the most centrally located for all y'all that would be, um, UK is not in Europe anymore, depends on what part of the UK you're talking. <laughs> England is not part of Europe anymore, well, England's still part of Europe, it's just not part of the U, Jamie, shush. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm thinking London would be pretty easy for us um, because we can fly there directly. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and somewhere in Germany, yeah. <laughs> it seems like a lot of you are German, but also a lot of you are very much within travel distance of Germany as well. Um, it's pretty close to Italy. Uh, there, it's reasonably close to Poland. Um, Amsterdam is also kind of between both, so I think uh, some of our, our Netherlands folks could probably make at least one of them. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think that that's the goal. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to 50,000, um, but this is my ambition. I hope we do, because I would very much love to go to Europe and see all of you. I would very much love to take Michael Smallwood and some of our other friends to Europe and see all of you. I'm sure that, like, that I know Maximilian and Michael and, and uh, Chris have both, or all, have expressed interest in participating in those events if uh, I get to give them a trip to Europe to come see everybody. Uh, oh my gosh, Michael, I didn't know you've never been to Europe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just depends on, um, you know, whether we reach that 50K and all of that difference in money is going to go to uh, our flights, our hotel, our train, uh, as well as uh, the venue prices to actually rent the venues to be able to, you know, display stuff there. It's probably not going to be back to back with the New York event, although it might. Um, and I'm not sure. I, I don't think it would just be Detroit reawakening. I think we would really try to make like an all day thing of it. Maybe do like ships and giggles live. Like we could do all sorts of stuff um, with the with the time there. We would really want to make it worth it and not just be like, you know, a 30 minute movie premiere, but also um, almost like a little like full day event. So that's my ambition anyway. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's all dependent upon what's actually possible. I've done a little bit of research about venue rental fees and that sort of thing. So, you know, I, I'm a little bit informed about how much things will cost. And But I think for 20,000, we'd be able to do something really cool and we would be able to visit at least two cities and be able to make sure that we can get to as many of you as possible. <laughs> All right, well, that's the stretch goals, but I haven't even gotten to the perks yet. Um, and also, God willing, <laughs> if we raise more than $50,000, what am I going to do? I'm going to continue to do convention and festival appearances all year long, uh, special event streams when, you know, maybe normally I would pay people to come on and do. We'll do more of those, more bonus perks for donors. I'll come up with something. We, we've got all sorts of things that we can make. Um, I could maybe make custom cool mailed things for like certain donor levels and stuff. I mean, the, the sky is really the limit, but I think what I would mostly, uh, <laughs> Michael Smallwood lap dances all around if we get over 50K. <laughs> Don't promise that. <laughs> Pillow asks, what's the stretch goal for Michelle to get paid? Uh, well, that kind of can't. <laughs> I can't, I kind of can't. Um, but I can hire help, and that and that would probably also be what some of the some of the overage would go to is hiring help for VFX and that sort of thing. 
Um, but I really do want to use extra money to, you know, pay for vending booths at places like Galaxy Con Raleigh or Emerald City Comic Con or New York Comic Con or places like that that people have asked me to go before, but I haven't been able to afford to go. Um, you know, places that would typically cost, you know, like a thousand dollars a booth and a thousand dollars hotel. If it's like a fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar cost to, to go to a convention, um, if I raise just a little bit of overage, then I should be able to actually, uh like afford to go to a couple extra events throughout the year. So that's probably with the first place it would go, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If y'all end up raising $50,000, then we'll have a whole other stream and conversation about stuff because... <laughs> All right, so on to the actual perks. Like what can you, the individual, get for donating? Well, if you pledge $5, you get a special thanks in the credits of Detroit Reawakening and a grouped social media shout out. Um, know that on Indiegogo, you can donate any amount, even if it's just a dollar. You don't have to meet the minimum of $5 if you don't have that. Um, additionally, this is true through any of the pledges. So, you know, you don't have to match the pledges exactly to be able to donate. You can donate literally any amount you want. I believe that there is, I think a dollar is probably the minimum. So, uh, I don't think you can probably do 69 cents. Uh, so, so, and by group social media shout out, I mean that like, Probably once every couple of days or once a week, I'll post something on social media that lists out the names of all of our $5 and up donors with a special thanks, uh, probably like on an Instagram story or a tweet. And uh, you'll be uh, thanked on social media and thanked in the credits of Detroit Reawakening. So you actually get your name in the credits of the movie. For $25, you get the previous two perks. You get the special thanks uh, in the credits, but you also get the score download for Detroit Reawakening. When that is complete, you'll get a score download for Detroit Evolution, and you'll get an individualized social media shout out, which means that I will thank you individually. I will specify a tweet or an Instagram story for you with just your name. So that is our $25 perk. Why does Chris always decide to call me when I'm streaming? It's like he knows. <laughs> Tell him to call me back. I'm, I'm telling you about all this cool stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> I've already done that twice at some point. I'm gonna leave him on red. I'll call him after my stream. <laughs> Uh, I'll text him. Everybody says hi on the stream. God, I've been doing Oppo at 2 o'clock on, on, on Mondays for like the last year and a half. Can't people learn? <laughs> I guess it's a little late. It's 2.35. It's a little late. <laughs> He'll just keep calling? I don't know. All right. Well, if you pledge $50... You'll get a signed 8x10 Detroit Reawakening poster, uh, signed by the, the, the guys and Carla and me, and access to an exclusive cast and crew commentary track. So that will be for our $50. And also you'll get the previous perks of the uh, score downloads and the special thanks in the credits. Remember that if $20,000 stretch goal is raised, all of these pledges and up will also get the Blu-ray. So that's really your, your coup de grace for the $50 and up. But the signed poster in the cast and crew commentary is also pretty dope, even if we don't meet that stretch goal. For the $100 level, you get all of the previous perks plus a one-of-a-kind Polaroid from the set of Detroit Reawakening. Remember that if the live event stretch goals are also funded, all of these pledges and up will get an automatic ticket to either the NYC or Europe events, uh, whichever one is funded slash whichever one is more convenient for you to attend. This doesn't mean that you have to go to the event if you can't afford to travel or whatever. It just means that we will give you the option of reserving a seat for free um, and we will make sure that we have a seat for you at the venue uh, and you know we'll, we'll take care of you before we do general admission for everybody. At the $250 level, 
Uh, we're going to offer signed screenplays of Detroit Reawakening. Uh, this will be uh, signed again by the cast and, and, and myself, uh, plus all previous perks. Also not mentioned on here, but this will be the case. Uh, you'll be entitled to an associate producer credit uh, in the credits as well. So you'll be with the associate producer credits. For the $50 level, you'll get a co-producer credit in the end credits and a video shout out from the set of Detroit Reawakening, uh, as seen here, <laughs> us doing it on Detroit Evolution. Uh, again, this includes all of the previous perks, as all of the tiers do, uh, and this has a limit of 20 because there's only so many video shout outs that we can actually have time to do on set. Uh, so it is limit 20. All right, we're starting to get into some really ambitious perks with the, if you pledge $1,000, you will get a single card executive producer credit in the end credits. That means just your name, uh, single, single card executive producer credit, uh, and a screen used prop or costume piece from the film. This is limit 10 because again, that's a finite uh, number of things. All right, now we're starting to offer things that uh, we've never offered before. Uh, I've never offered perks over $1,000 before, um, but for this one being the last hurrah, uh, we actually want to offer something really, really unique that we've never done before. If you pledge $1,750, you get all of the previous perks, uh, with the exception of the video shout out, considering what this actually is, because you're gonna visit the set of Detroit Reawakening in person. You'll meet the cast and crew, have lunch with us, and watch us shoot a scene. Uh, and you may bring one guest with you as well. This is limited to two people. Two people can sign up for this, uh, which would be two people plus two guests. Uh, and uh, travel to Charleston is not included. So you got to get yourself here. You got to get yourself here on the actual... Um, on the actual time that we're gonna shoot, which is probably gonna be in September. It is a chonky perk, Lion. <laughs> How much does it cost to get from UK to Charleston? A lot, like $1,000 probably. Um, uh, Brittany asks, so even if we donate five to $10, our name will be in the credits. Yes, $5 and up, your name will be in the credits under special thanks. <laughs> Michael says, hell, depending on how I'm feeling, you maybe can stand in for me during the wide shot so I can hang out in Crafty. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is limited to two. So if you want this, uh, they are limited, although they are, you know, a, a pretty... It's, it, it's a chunky perk, but it is also uh, kind of intended for people who are in the United States and within driving distance of Charleston or within very, very affordable flying distance. Um, you know, it's if you want to come from international places, you are welcome to do so. Uh, but just be aware that we're not covering travel. So you need to make sure that you can afford to actually come to Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, it'll probably be a Saturday in September and that you're available uh, for that as well. But that's not all. There's still one more perk, even higher than this, of a similar vein. Have a walk-on role in Detroit Reawakening. One person will join the Octopunk Cannon with a walk-on role in the film. This is $2,500. I've included Philip here for a reason. If you pass as Philip, you might get to be Philip. <laughs> in which case we'll totally gore you up and everything. If you can't pass as Philip for whatever reason, then we'll have you uh, be part of the, the DPD. Um, but this is an opportunity for one person. Again, travel's not included. So you, you do have to get to Charleston, South Carolina. You have to make it to set yourself. Uh, but any person who does this, the one person who does this will be able to actually be on screen, possibly with dialogue, depending upon where we put you, um, and actually get to be part of the movie on screen. So <laughs> Michael's saying, oh, this is really exciting. I didn't tell Michael I was doing this, I don't believe. Um, <laughs> how many days would we need to be there if we do this perk? Um, each of these is one day. 
Um, most likely we'll be shooting this on a Sunday. I think the, the, the set visit would probably be either Sunday or Saturday. Um, jet lag is a thing, so take that into account if you are coming internationally. Um, if you're coming internationally, like you might want to, and also if you're coming internationally, you may as well stay in Charleston for a couple of days if you can afford it just to, you know, hang out in the United States and make the trip worth it. Um, but yeah, I, th I think, um, pretty much you would only be on set for less than a day. Um, probably up to four or five hours um, on set for, for each of these experiences. So for us international dreamers, when are you shooting? Um, September, a, a weekend in September. I'm not sure which one. Uh, it It's going to have to depend upon when the guys are free, when Carla's free, everybody's free. Um, it won't be before September, I think. Um, and I don't think it's going to be October because both me and Michael have a lot of stuff in October that is eating up a lot of our weekends and it would, I'm not even going to try to shoot in October. So I can almost guarantee it's going to be in September sometime, um, when some weekend in September, cause I think we're all pretty free then. So yeah, <laughs> Michael says, Oh, October is a hard note. Yeah, me too. I'm going to nightmares and Disney. So, uh, I probably cannot do October. Um, <laughs> and uh, and mom says domestically lots of nonstop flights to Charleston for about 200 100 to 200 dollars yes it is very common so domestic folks should probably have no issue really affording the trip um, international it's harder but anyone is welcome to join uh, about the only thing that I ask with that and I might add this to the um, the stipulations on Indiegogo uh, but I, I really think you got to be over 18. Um, I would say that no minors, just because I don't want to be responsible for the safety of a minor on my set. Um, I try to avoid having minors around um, for labor reasons. Uh, so you got to be 18, but that's kind of my, my one rule. Um, and other, but I think, I think most, most people who would afford that perk are not minors. <laughs> uh, and vaccine. So that's a good point, mom. Uh, I would say... There are COVID protocols that you have to meet in order to be on set as well. Um, you don't have to be, I mean, if you're coming internationally, if you're coming on a plane, you basically have to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated. So uh, at least by end of September, you probably have time to get vaccinated. Um, but, you know, just count that in as well. Um, because if you're going to be on screen, you have to have your mask off and therefore you would need to be vaccinated to keep everybody safe. Uh, <laughs> David Cage is not allowed on our set. Michael, you're such a troll. <laughs> um, the other requirement is that you get tested um, for COVID before coming on set. But yeah, by then, uh, basically everybody else on the set's going to be fully vaccinated. So uh, we will not get you sick, but you may get us sick. Maybe I don't know. It's just for safety reasons. Um, we are trying to be very safe with COVID. Thank you, Mom, for reminding me of that because that is <laughs> that is a very important thing to note. Oh, but this isn't all. So this is all for our perks and everything and our stretch goals. But there's one more thing that we're doing in order to kick off the uh, Indiegogo on Saturday. We're going to be doing it with a live stream here on Twitch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. Maximilian and Michael are go both going to be joining me for this. Chris and Carla wish they could, but they're busy, unfortunately. And well, for Carla, it's two in the morning for her. So, you know, I wasn't going to make her come out in the middle of the night with the time zone change. Um, but we're going to be doing a variety of activities, probably playing some Jackbox Dead by Daylight. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But there are special additional perks and milestone perks that you can get by donating in the first 24 hours of the campaign. All pledges during the first 24 hours will get access to a digital making of Detroit Reawakening zine, which will come out around the same time as the movie, or maybe before the movie. I might finish it before the movie. All $50 and up pledges during the first 24 hours will get access to a Zoom lecture with Michael Smallwood. Uh, this was a really popular perk during our last charity stream. Uh, last time he did a really cool Zoom lecture all about the history of Hollywood blockbusters. I don't know what the topic will be this time, but it's sure to be fun again. 
And uh, all $500 and up pledges during the first 24 hours will, in lieu of getting a video call from the set of Detroit Reawakening, will get a video, or in lieu of getting a video shout out, will get a video call. So it will be a live call instead of a recorded, uh, pre recorded shout out. So it's just a little bit of an upgrade to that tier. And uh, let's see, I saw Jewel ask, when can we start donating? Will it be available after the stream starts or before? Oh no, the donations will be during the stream. We will activate the Indiegogo at the beginning of the live stream and we will keep an eye on it for the, the four hours of the stream because there's certain milestones that if we hit during the stream, we're gonna give away some fun stuff. And that is laid out here. When we hit the $1,000, $5,000, and $10,000 milestones on stream, we'll do stream chat raffles for some original writing commissions by Michael Smallwood. Michael says he will write a 15-page script with any character you want in any situation. Uh, you know, with an asterisk, probably. There's probably some things he won't write. Um, but <laughs> basically, we'll give away uh, one raffle opportunity to one person for the, each of those three milestones. Uh, at those milestones. So if you're in the stream chat during that time, you can enter the raffle and maybe win a writing commission by Michael. When we hit the 2,500, 7,500, and 12,500 milestones, we'll do a stream chat raffle for fan cam edit commissions by me, which means the three winners of those giveaways from the stream chat will be able to ask me to do a 30 second fan cam edit of any topic or character that they want. Uh, SRP 1997, will the Indiegogo be available after the stream too? Yes, the Indiegogo will be live for 31 days. It will be going for a month, so you have a month to donate. That's actually like a very important thing to note. You will have one month to donate. So even though there's a lot of day one bonuses, if you don't have the money on Saturday, it's okay. You can wait until like two paydays from now and still be able to donate through, I think... June 21st, if that, or June 23rd, if that's 31 days. So, yeah, you will you'll have a full month. These are just bonuses for uh, the stream, and then the other ones are bonuses for the first 24 hours. What's a fan cam edit? You ask your friends that. I'm not going to explain. Do Patreon pledges count towards this like last time? No. You have to donate to the Indiegogo. There's no other, you know, I'm not counting anything else. Um, I'm not, that was an accounting nightmare last time. Uh, one of the benefits of being able to do an Indiegogo is that all of the donations and everything is in one place. Uh, if you need to lower your Patreon tier in order to donate to the Indiegogo, that's totally understandable um, for a temporary month or two to be able to offset the costs. I get that. Um, so... <laughs> So, uh, no, it's it, it, all the only donations that count towards any of these perks towards anything is the Indiegogo. So I, I'm not counting merch, I'm not counting Twitch, I'm not counting anything else. Uh, Michael says, the writing commissions will be based on whatever you want. I'll have a conversation with you about characters and story. I'll put together a 10 to 15 minute script for you. I'll also do one round of edits to make sure we get it how you want it. So there you go. That is what the writing commissions are. When we hit the $15,000 milestone, we'll do a stream chat raffle for a one-hour, one-in-one gaming session with some of the Detroit Reawakening cast and crew. I know it'll be me and Michael at the very minimum. Might be able to rope some other folks into this. Uh, we'll play Among Us, Dead by Daylight, you know, whatever you want. We'll just do like a one-hour uh, multiplayer experience, you know, private gaming session with you and some of our, our friends at Octopunk. And when we hit the $20,000 milestone, this comes out of left field, but me and the mods... We, we came up with this last night and it's brilliant. If we hit the goddamn $20,000 milestone, I'll make a sequel to the Blair Toaster Project. Yes, really, because I realize that I've been sleeping on that IP for all these years. <laughs> You know, I like doing something completely ludicrous and stupid for my uh, my big, 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 you know, bonus perks. For the $10,000 ones of my charity streams, I said I'd shave half my head, and I did that. So, you know, let's make a sequel to the Blair Toaster Project. Why not? Octopunk Cinematic Universe. And yes, I will come back as the star 15 years after the original Blair Toaster Project. And it's definitely just gonna be called Blair Toaster because that's what they did with the Blair Witch Project sequel. <laughs> 
So, uh, so yeah, um, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be our twenty thousand dollar milestone. If he if we hit twenty thousand dollars on that stream on Saturday, I will I will make a sequel to the Blair Toaster Project. So we'll see what happens. Um, that is everything for our upcoming Detroit Reawakening campaign. I know it's a lot. I've given you a whole hour of stuff to digest. It will be very very easy once we actually have the Indiegogo campaign up. You'll be able to read all of the perks and be reminded of all the stretch goals. All of this copy and information will be on the Indiegogo page when it goes live. Uh, mods, if you could copy po copy pasta in the chat, that link I sent you earlier, which is for our Indiegogo splash page, uh, where you'll get emails with updates about the campaign, including an email uh, when the campaign goes live, so you won't forget. And also remember about the stream at 11 a.m. Eastern this Saturday, uh, we will activate the campaign uh, on the stream or right before the stream so uh, that will also let you know when we're going live with it it'll be 11 a.m. on Saturday roughly so uh, and remember that in that day one those first 24 hours we'll get lots of bonus perks for everybody if we have milestones on the stream we've got all sorts of fun stuff that we're doing uh, for these you know stream milestones we're gonna give away a lot of stuff in the stream chat from Michael and I and the rest of the crew uh, and there's just your normal perks, normal lovely stuff and stretch goals that we will get. Uh, all we have to do is hit $10,000 and we make Detroit Reawakening. So that's all we have to do, but I really would like to hit that 50K and be able to go visit you in Europe and be able to do Blu-rays and, and all sorts of other lovely things uh, with this project. Michael says, y'all are the best fans in the freaking world. I'm so glad we can offer all of this amazing stuff for you while getting to make this new project. As usual, he says it best. Um, <laughs> and just a general sort of, you know, disclaimer. Um, make sure that you don't donate more than, you know, you can afford. Uh, the movie, I think, is going to hit that 10000 It's going to get made no matter what. Um, all these other stretch goals is just gravy. I would love to be able to do them, but not at the expense of somebody, you know, not being able to take care of themselves. Donate responsibly. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind, at the end of the day, it's just a movie. It's not more important than your food or your shelter or your pets or anything else or your health, anything else you need to take care of. So, uh, yeah. And Pillow says, yes, uh, I will post on Twitter and Instagram, but the VOD will be available here on YouTube as well. Yeah, I always do VODs. I don't know what the question was, but uh, everything goes on YouTube as a VOD. So, <laughs> uh, yes, any references to debt just got to be jokes. <laughs> do not take a payday loan or any of that predatory nonsense. Come on. Robbing a bank. You're, I mean, if I don't know where it came from, whatever. <laughs> Um, and if you have any questions about the campaign before Saturday, feel free to at me on Twitter. Um, I'm going to end the stream, and I, I think I've answered quite a few of them on stream here. But you can you also leave a comment in the YouTube comments if you're watching this later on YouTube. Feel free to leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Um, I might even also do a, like, open box Instagram ask box or something. I have an ask box on Tumblr that you can go to and ask, and I'll, I'll answer questions on there. Um, so if you think of something uh, in the meantime... I'll be happy to answer it because I'm sure that there are things that I haven't thought of. Uh, also, there's a there's going to be an FAQ on the Indiegogo page itself. So there's going to be a few questions that are going to be answered there. Like, when does everybody get their benefits? It's going to be like a month or two after the movie comes out, most likely. That kind of things. So, yes, thank you for all of your support. I'm so excited to get to make this movie and launch the crowdfunding campaign on Saturday with your help. I can't wait to see what we do together as a community. And as always, stay great, hydrate, and have a happy time zone. <laughs>